Welcome to Excel Campus. My name is John and in this video I'm going to explain a few bug fixes and updates to VLOOKUP Assistant. So if you saw the first video, I didn't fully explain clearly how uh, VLOOKUP Assistant works and the fact that you can actually do lookups within a larger table. So I've added a few columns over here and you can see now our name is right here in this column and the email address that we want to return is in this column over here. So we want to do a lookup for this name, return the email address with in this larger table. And VLOOKUP Assistant can absolutely handle that. Uh, so we're just going to put that formula right here in this cell. We'll just first do a simple VLOOKUP. So I'm first going to select the cell that contains the lookup value, which would be B6, hit OK. And then in this step, I'm just going to select the cell, starting with the cell I want to look up, all the way over to the cell I want to return. I only need to specify or select one single row within the table. I don't need to uh, select all of the rows there. The VLOOKUP Assistant will do that for you. So that's what I'm going to select there. Go ahead and hit OK. And that will create the formula. And you can see that the table array is just F, uh, F6 to H1005. Now, in the original file, this didn't work properly. If you tried uh, to do a lookup uh, over to the right, uh, any column to the right of the starting column in that lookup table or this table array. So that was a bug and I've since uh, fixed that. So it should work now. Definitely test it out on your files and make sure that works. But the whole point there is that you can start in a different column. It doesn't have to be the leftmost column in this table. And that works with index match as well. So if we do an index match formula, we'll do one down here. I'll just run the index match macro. It's the same exact thing. We're just going to select the lookup value and then we're going to select uh, starting in this cell here. That's the, that's the column we want to look up over to the email column. It doesn't need to be the same row either. You could do this row up here. It does not matter. And uh, then we'll hit OK. That'll run the macro and create the index match formula. And again, it's going to determine what that lookup column is, which is this one here, column F. And the return column will be the last column that we selected. So that's that last column there, the email column is the last one we selected, and that's the column that will be returned in the index function. And then I've also added a feature to use the columns function for the column index number. So if you've seen my bonus videos on VLOOKUP on this technique, I'll go ahead and show it. We'll just put it in this cell here, uh, run the macro, again, select the lookup value, hit OK, just select the range that we're going to look to, hit OK. And this formula contains the columns function right here, and it's just returning the number of columns uh, that we've selected. It's using the columns function for that. And the reason it does that is that we can now insert columns here. So I could insert a column right here. I'm gonna hit Control Plus to do that. You can see this formula is not correct. Index, and this is a original VLOOKUP formula, so it's now returning column three, which would be the phone number. Index match does work in that scenario. And here with the columns function, it also still works because it's going to count the number of columns uh, from name to email, which is now four, return that to the column index number here, and the VLOOKUP formula will still be correct. If you don't see this at symbol, that's fine. That's due to the dynamic arrays update and the uh, implicit intersection. So uh, don't worry about that. It might not be there, it might not show for you, but it'll still absolutely work just fine. And then finally, I've also added functionality for index match to the left. And I have a separate sheet over here uh, with this and the macros that run this. Again, it's still the same macro, uh, just a, an additional line here to do this. So we'll just test it out. We'll do index match to the left. Again, select the lookup value, hit OK. Step two is still the same process. And uh, as you can see here, now our name is to the right of the email address that we want to return. Uh, however, we can just still select those cells. So from the start to the last, it doesn't matter. You could start here and select this way. It doesn't matter. As you notice within this box, it's going to say F6 to H6. So it's going to read left to right regardless. And that's fine. The macro figures it out for us. So we'll go ahead and hit OK. Here's our index match function. And now you can see in the uh, return column within the index function, 
is the email column and the name column we're looking up within match is over here. So it just really flips those two columns and produces an index match to the left. And of course, we also have an option for an index match to the left uh, wrapped in if error. So lots of new features there already. I also want to say thank you for all of your suggestions and your support in this. Uh, it was great to see all the comments come in. It seems like it's going to be a very useful tool for a lot of people, so I'm glad to hear that. Feel free to share these videos with your coworkers and share them with anyone that you think could find this useful. I'm trying to gather as much feedback as possible. So of course we wanna make this tool better and uh, easier for you to use. So thanks again. Uh, and of course this uh, file, this updated file is on the blog post now. So you can go download this file and check it out and test it out in your own uh, projects. Thanks again and have a great day.